Hi, this is Rue Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I have a new ghost story for you. So today I have a new ghost story in the house, um, and this ghost goes by the name Linda, but when she pronounces her name, it has a very Hispanic or very Latin American um, accent to it. So I do feel like um, Linda is someone who spoke Spanish or um, maybe spoke, um, uh, grew up speaking Spanish, so she has that, like that accent um, in her energy. Um, but she has a very sweet personality and always very concerned about being in balance with everybody, almost like to the point where it's kind of like, hmm, something happened to her where she felt out of balance with other people around her. Um, I think it's a very interesting part of her energy of not feeling in balance. Um, also with Linda, I also get like this heaviness, almost like not necessarily always in my throat, but kind of like from here to the top of my stomach. Um, and so it's kind of like, she may have had some issues in that area or having issues, um, you know, upset stomachs and that sort of thing. But it could also mean psychically, it could also mean a lot of grief in her life, going through a lot of grief um, in her life of traumas or other situations that went on around her that she didn't feel like she had um, the ability to say anything or wasn't able to kind of voice things out. Um, I do feel like, uh, Linda is probably late sixties, early seventies is where I get her energy, um, uh, age at, um, Linda also, um, has this, um, almost like this desire to keep going to church. Almost like if I go to church more, um, things will get better. Or if I go to church more, things will get right with me or get back in balance. Um, Linda had, I almost feel like several things wrong. Um, I also feel like there may be um, kind of um, a diabetic issue. Um, when I connect to her energy, uh, my feet feel tingly that I'm not getting all the blood supply that I should be having. Uh, so that's kind of like a little bit different energy. Um, she has some um, stress in her life or she stresses over a lot of things and kind of does a lot of worrying almost to the point of over worrying about things. Um, I do feel like um, Linda had a young daughter. Um, I do feel like the first young daughter she put up for adoption early. Um, so she may have had a child out of wedlock under the age of, you know, like 19 or so, because uh, she looks like a little girl almost. Um, but she had a baby and then gave that baby up for adoption and then um, eventually got married and had another daughter. Um, her first daughter um had um was born she was very beautiful um very sweet um uh, but she only got to visit with her for a you know like an hour or two and then they took the baby away um but her second daughter and her husband knew about her first daughter um let's see she has um a lot of animals around her so i think she felt very um, drawn to animals, very drawn to kind of um, helping animals. Um, being around them made her feel safe and secure, and that may have, may also stem from her childhood as well. Um, I will say that Linda has messages for both of her daughters um, and her husband. I don't feel like she's been gone all that long. I would say probably three to six months, so that would probably put her sometime um, passing away um, probably um, mid to late um, 2021. And um, she comes through with this very apologetic energy and always choosing to find a balance with everybody who's going on. And she may have over gifted things in her life. I want to give something away or I want to be in balance. And even if the other person's like, no, 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 this is enough already. She was like, I feel out of balance. I keep, need to keep doing this. So she would keep giving until she felt in balance. And then she would uh, bring that energy to a rest. Um, I do feel like there were a lot of men in um, Linda's life when she was young. So that kind of may, could have been like a lot of uncles or a lot of brothers in that energy. And I do feel like they were around her same age. So they kind of still would have been like close to her age. Um, there were a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of guilt um, brought into her family. And I feel more like from her dad than her mom.
um, she has um, a very caring, giving heart, but I also guarantee that she really was a force to reckon with um, at times. She really did not put up with a lot of nonsense as she, when she got older. Um, she's kind of like, now I'm old enough to kind of set my um, intentions of what I want or what I don't want in my life. And I am going to make my voice being heard. Very important for her of being heard. Um, I do feel like that's kind of one of the sadnesses is that she felt like she had such a strong voice. And um, at the end, she wasn't able to voice things out. She might have had um, a breathing tube or something like that or feeding tube were um, inserted in. So she wasn't able to communicate um, well with other people at the end and kind of be able to give uh, people instructions or be able to talk uh, to them or talk with them. Um, Linda also um, has a couple of little bitty black dogs. I do, like I said, I do feel like her energy is connected to a lot of dogs. So I do feel like there's a lot of, of little black dogs and they're kind of fuzzy little black dogs. I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're called, but they're really, really cute. Um, but uh, lots of fur um, and little black puffs uh, running all over the place. I would say probably less than a few pounds um, each of them, but they're very, very sweet. And they were named, um, in conjunction like salt and pepper or something like that but they were um or peanut butter and jelly so they're two names that go together um linda has a very personal message like i said for her, both her daughters and her son she does have a son i don't know why i just said that so she may have had a son as well um but she also has um a very important message for her husband um who has to still make some decisions um, based on uh, Linda's life and what she told him um, as she got close to the end. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon. Mm -hmm.